The Saudi Arabian Air Force has expressed interest in the Turkish Khan fifth generation fighter program. India and US have signed two separate contracts today, one for the acquisition of 31 MQ-9B drones, and the other for maintenance repair and overhaul facilities for the drones. Bharat Electronics will start supply of electromagnetic interference shelters to the military, for protecting radars and communication systems from enemy electronic warfare attacks. Nigeria is all set to sign an agreement for Prachan light combat helicopters very soon that has been offered at only $17 million per unit, positioning it as one of the least expensive light combat helicopters in its class. With the diplomatic relationship between India and Canada reaching an all-time low, defense experts have urged the defense ministry to cancel the striker acquisition, that is manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems Canada. The Indian Army is seeking private sector expertise to develop adaptive camouflage technology for its mechanized infantry. The RDO's Tukshuk Next Generation Electrical Heavy Weight Torpedo is now ready for sea trials. L&T Shipyard has launched the first multi-purpose vessel project for the Indian Navy, two of which were ordered in March 2022 for 887 crore rupees. The seven new companies carved out of the Ordnance Factory Board have shown a significant profit jump to 1549 crore rupees from 35 crore rupees in just 3 years. Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to start captive flight trials of outer dual rack pylons for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets in early 2025, with missile firing trials scheduled for later in 2025. The new pylons will allow it to carry two close combat air-to-air -air missiles like the Astram or Python 5 on a single pylon, that will give it the capacity to engage a larger number of targets in rapid succession. While India's AMCO program is focused on delivering a fifth-generation stealth fighter, the former Air Chief RKS Baduriu has emphasized the need for India to start working on integrating as many sixth-generation technologies as possible into the AMCA program, like artificial intelligence and electronic pilots, synthetic vision systems to create a virtual representation of the battlefield, even in poor visibility conditions, manned-unmanned teaming data fusion and network-centric warfare. Adani Defense has announced that it is set to start production of high-caliber rounds for artillery guns from April 2025 from its Kanpur facility, that marks the next phase of expansion for Adani Defense in the defense sector. One of the key products planned for manufacturing is the 155mm high-explosive extended-range projectile, that has a range of 41 km when fired from a 52 caliber gun. Today's Top 3 Comments